assalamu alaikum students uh, let's study today chapter 8 of the mobetic novel uh, before this uh, we studied chapter 7 let's recap uh, the last points of chapter 7 we are uh, quickweg uh, recovers uh, from his uh, severe illness and then he starts normal life and then he is harpooning his uh, he is sharpening his uh, harpoon and uh, then uh, he uh, talks with the uh, Ishmael that uh, if you have a good uh, willpower so then uh, illness cannot take you after this their journey uh, goes on and uh, during the journey they come uh, to a place which is uh, off the coast of Japan in off the coast of Japan they meet another ship the ship name is Bachelor the Bachelor ship uh, the, uh, is coming uh, with the uh, uh, colors a, a lot of colors uh, flags and uh, the people in the deck are dancing and they are enjoying and they are uh, have very happy when they come near to the Pequot ship uh, the Pequot crew uh, saw that they have uh, hundreds of barrels of whale oil they have caught a lot of whales and now they are celebrating and dancing on the deck the captain of the master ship uh, invite Ahab uh, to uh, join them and enjoy but I have asked the captain of the bachelor ship about the white whale the captain of the bachelor ship uh, uh, said that he had heard about but didn't believe he didn't believe that such a big whale exists in this uh, uh, in these waters uh, he had just uh, heard about it but he didn't he, he, he didn't believe now uh, and again he invites uh, uh, Ahab to come and join but uh, Ahab rejects the invitation and he says he says you are a full ship heading how I am an empty ship heading away means you are uh, you have completed your mission and now you are going back uh, your home but uh, I'm still uh, chasing my mission I'm still uh, going to complete my mission so I'm uh, still uh, sailing and uh, can't go back so it's uh, the best to continue our journey so you continue your journey to go your home back and i will continue my journey to uh, get my mission so uh, up to this is uh, what happened with them with the bachelor ship so uh, when the bachelor ship uh, invitation is rejected uh, and uh, the peakport ship uh, crosses it and uh, uh, carries on its journey so Ishmael uh, listens their drumming of the bachelor ship to a very long distance and uh, he becomes jealous uh, with the success of the bachelor ship and he has longing longing means strong wish he has a very strong wish longing to go home back like, like the bachelor people are going home back so now he uh, longed that now they should also go back uh, home uh, then uh, he was uh, standing on the deck after the dinner and uh, started enjoying fresh air of the night uh, the moon had cast its silver light on water here is a scene of the moon uh, its light is light uh, the moonlight is uh, shedding over the water and uh, spreading over the water so a silver light was there in the water and uh, there, uh, Ishmael stood at a railing and he was appreciating the beauty of the scene the beauty of the scene which was in front of him he was much appreciating this beauty and he was enjoying uh, this uh, scene when suddenly he noticed Fadilla and Ahab talking so his uh, attention uh, turned from the beauty of the scene to the talking of Fadilla and uh, Ahab when the uh, Ishmael is uh, standing on the deck and uh, he is uh, enjoying the beauty of the scene of the moonlight uh, spreading on the water he suddenly listens to the talking of Fadila and Ahab uh, so what kind of conversation is done between Ahab and Fadila uh, here we see uh, we come to know that Fadila is some spiritual person and he has some visions uh, and uh, Ahab believes uh, in his visions so Ahab uh, asks uh, Fadila about some more visions and uh, now Fadila tells him a very dangerous vision 
and that is about the death of Ahab. Ahab refuses uh, his vision and he Ahab says that he won't die before the completion of his mission. Means when he, uh, he will kill the Moby Dick and uh, he will kill his enemy, uh, so up to that time he cannot die. Fedela tells uh, Ahab that uh, Ahab will die of a rock. rock. So, uh, and Fedela uh, also tells that he will die before Ahab in this journey. Ahab rejects the hanging, uh, the death by hanging. Uh, and uh, then Ahab takes the opposite meaning and says to Fedela that Ahab will live to kill the Moby Dick. And Ahab is immortal. Immortal means never die. He will live uh, forever. Immortal. La fani. Ke, uh, Ahab fani nahi hai. Ahab kabhi nahi marega. Ahab is immortal. And uh, they, Ahab will rule the seas. He will rule on the seas and he will live forever. Uh, after this talking, both go for the dinner, to the dinner room. Ishmael, uh, after this, Ishmael wished that he never heard this worried conversation because in the conversation uh, makes Ishmael worried. So he wished that he, he would never uh, listen to this uh, worried conversation. Well, the blue sky and the calm water of the Pacific Ocean uh, is famous for the sudden typhoons. Such, so the same incident happens with the Pequod and uh, the Pequod is caught by a thunderstorm, a typhoon. Uh, the crew started to safeguard the harpoon boards and uh, some sailors pointed to the masts. There were white flames over the mast. Ishmael asked Stubb uh, why these flames are there. Uh, is the people uh, getting fired and uh, we are in danger? Uh, Stubb says no, it's a common. It's, it's common in severe storm. When there is severe storm, so such flames are common. The whole crew gathered uh, in, uh, in front of the mess. Uh, now, uh, in the meanwhile, Ahab uh, comes and uh, he uh, presents a unique logic. He says, uh, he cries to the crew that it's these white flames are the signs of the white well. Now, nothing can stop us to reach the white well. This was a unique logic, uh, but uh, the other uh, crew uh, was uh, silent. Uh, at this uh, logic of uh, 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 Captain Ahab, but Starbuck becomes angry uh, on this logic and he shows his reaction. What reaction he shows? Let's study his reaction. Okay, listening to the uh, strange logic of Ahab, Captain Ahab, that uh, these white flames are a sign of uh, finding the white whale, Starbuck becomes angry. And he shows his anger. Uh, he is burns with anger. He says to Captain Ahab that you are crazy, or man. It's a storm of warning. It's a warning of destruction. It will destroy it. It, it will destroy the ship. And then, uh, with much anger, Starbuck says that your mission is cursed. Your mission Your mission is cursed. That you have put all the people in danger. Uh, and uh, he says to him clearly that you are putting us all in danger. Uh, and then he says, uh, finally, he very decisively says that let's adjust ourselves. Let's adjust ourselves and return home. But uh, Ahab refuse, uh, refuses uh, the proposal of uh, Starbuck. And he cries, no, we will continue our journey. And uh, then he says that... Uh, uh, you take a, an oath to find me the white whale. Well. You have taken an oath with me that you will find the uh, white whale well with me. Now you should uh, take care of your oath. And then he says, it's your duty to carry on till the very end. And no matter what obstacles we may face, any obstacle we may face, we will not care of it. And we will carry on our journey till the very end, till we find the white whale well and kill it. Uh, then he orders the crew to go back to their posts. The whole crew, uh, they go silently toward their post. They have no dare to question the uh, Captain Ahab or uh, say anything uh, against his idea. But Starbuck is standing there and he says to the, uh, the Captain Ahab, Starbuck says 
that uh, you will regret this old man to me bahut afsos hoga apne is faisle pe old man you will regret this old man and uh, then he says again that you won't be happy until you ki- you kill us all mean you when you, we all will be killed in your this uh, 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 useless mission then you will become happy uh, but i have looks fiercely fiercely means with much anger now i have becomes angry and uh, wo usse se ahab ki taraf apne starbuck ki taraf dekhta hai so ahab looks fiercely at starbuck and uh, goes slowly uh, towards his cabin so that's the end of chapter 8 uh, thank you